Hello, I'm Melissa and today I'm going to be building a haunted house. The spooky season has begun and to start my spooky season, I'll build a haunted house. So I started by building a rectangle which is 51. Never mind, it's 15 block. No, I mean it's 17 blocks long. Yes, finally. I use cobblestone as the foundation block and a dark oak logs for the sides. The other side is 10 blocks long and then I just connected all the sides. I made the cobblestone foundation 2 blocks tall. I could just use cobblestone but I mixed up a bit of mossy cobblestone and a few blocks of dead coral. The dead coral I used was the blue one which is also called a tube coral block. The mossy cobblestone adds a bit of greenery to the dull cobblestone. And the tube coral blocks add a bit of texture to it. I don't know why, but I like to add a front porch to my houses. I used oak planks for the porch of this house and I added dark oak wood to the corners. And for the fences, instead of using regular oak fences, I used lecterns. I know it sounds weird, but the lecterns actually look like fences. And I put trap doors on top of them so we don't see the slant. You can put signs on, in, on the inside of the lecterns, but I don't like the way it looks, so I didn't. Next, I built the walls. It is 4 blocks tall, and I used spruce planks because they look the best. And in the corners, we have the same dark oak logs. You can use any blocks you want. But I would recommend not building it with dark oak wood because it will look too dark. I wanted to add a porch roof and so I did. I used cyan terracotta for the main roof bit and dark oak stairs and slabs for the trim around the roof. I placed a row of cyan terracotta and one block below that I placed two rows as you can see here. And you can also see me placing the trim. Next I go five blocks in including the trim and I placed some more terracotta and that's there for a reason and that reason is the a tiny bit that sticks out of the remaining part of the build also known as a bay it is a small room that contains a window and I put a classic roof on top of it you know the roof I'm talking about the one with the stairs if you don't know what I'm talking about that roof that I'm building there is the most classical roof in minecraft it is called the a-frame roof i also added some support to the porch roof using fences and i added some lights as well because you don't want a creeper blowing up your house now do you and for the side i did this i can't describe what i did so just look at the video i used dark oak slabs for the inside of my porch because the shroom lights which is my light source of choice sticks out and adds a bit of depth and I added stairs to the side of it. Next, I built up the rest of the walls. It is around 6 to 8 blocks high. You can build it as high up as you want. But it has to be 2 blocks higher than the bay at least. I also changed the position of the front two beams because it didn't look right. So I put them 3 blocks away from the edge. And then I built the second beam correctly. And then I built up the rest of the walls. One good thing about this house is that it looks like a normal house before we spookify it. So you can build this for Christmas as well as Halloween. This build is not a very big one, so it can fit anywhere. Well, it can't fit in a 2x2 two two square, but you know what I mean. As I said earlier, you can choose whatever blocks you want. I went for spruce wood cyan terracotta and dark oak because they look good together and they also look a little worn down and spooky fill 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 then i connected the sticky outy bit to the rest of the building i also added a slab trim around the build where the logs connect to the spruce planks because it didn't look good how the logs were just on top of the planks. That little trim made it look more connected. 
That part is optional, but it looks good. I do something with that later on, and that's why I said that it looks good, because right now it doesn't really look good. Next, I'm building the roof. But before that, let me connect this part up. So at least that part of the build is complete. For the roof, I went for a simple design. It's just two blocks of roof repeated twice, and then it's just flat. And then I filled it in. Building roofs with solid blocks is so much easier than using stairs. So I used solid blocks for the roof. The only time I used stairs and slabs was for the trim. I really want a dark grey brick brick block in Minecraft. Who knows? Maybe we'll get a block like that in the Cliffs and Caves update. Maybe a block that looks like a tile. That would be good. Or they could add terracotta bricks. But they probably won't. So I'm expecting a lot of grey blocks. For the trim, I placed a full block with a stair on top and another pair of that. And a stair placed on the top section with a block in the middle. And I added stairs underneath the solid blocks for more shape. That's most of the roof done, but we can add some more details to it because it looks pretty boring right now. The back side of the roof was looking quite plain, so I added some blocks to make it look more rounded. But on the front, I wanted to add two dormer windows, which I did. It was three blocks away from the edge, and I was quite confused on how to build it. I didn't know what shape to give it or how many I wanted. At first, I wanted it to be an A-frame roof. So instead, I, I tried adding details to the front of the build, which confused me even more. Because I didn't know what patterns would go well with this build. So I started building the dormer windows. They are not the best dormer windows, and I had built them wrong as well. That was only the first time I rebuilt it. The windows were uneven, and the details were getting in the way, and I was confusion. I was not confused, I was the confusion. So if you are going to build this house in your world, add the details later on. And added a huge chimney at the side of the build. I placed a line of cobblestone down the middle and then I built around it to create an organized mess. And I placed cobblestone stairs to add depth to the build. And the mossy cobblestone and dead coral blocks return. Next, I added a back porch because the front porch was not enough. I built the same porch as the one I did in the front using the lectern as fences, which is my favorite fence in Minecraft. Then I added some details to the back of the house. I replaced the row of spruce planks to the row of light grey terracotta. And on top of that, I added dark oak details. And I added some details to the sides as well. I had planned out some detailed designs earlier, but I didn't really use them. Then I started adding some windows. I placed spruce stairs below and on top of the windows to add more depth to the build. And now the house kinda looks like a face. For the bay window, I placed a glass block in the middle and glass panes on the side. And also a rose bed, because ghosts like roses. I don't know why I know that. Maybe because it is something that I made up? Hmm, I wonder. I also added a door. I didn't want to decorate the door too much, so I just added a window on top of it. And I finally added some details to the front of the build. As I said earlier, I built a dormer incorrectly. So I had to build it again. And the details that, that I built are just slabs placed below the dormer, but it's alright. I added smoke on the chimney using stained glass. I used the colors white, light grey, grey and black. I could have made it a little bit bigger, but I still had a lot more windows to add. So I added a stained glass window on top of this one. Which I did by placing the stained glass one block behind and adding stairs on the spruce planks. I would recommend building different shapes of windows so your build is more interesting to look at. A random thing, but
But how many times have I said added in this video? I'd say over a billion times. I installed a window that you can walk through, also known as a glass door, at the back of the house. And I said installed instead of added. Wow! And I adjoined the balcony on the top floor and went and put more details to the build. I replaced the row of planks with light grey terracotta so the details stand out a bit more. Most of the details are stairs with slabs underneath them as you can see throughout this video. I just went for random patterns everywhere rather than just using the same pattern over and over because using random patterns makes each side of the build look interesting and unique just like I did with the windows. And it's Halloween so of course there has to be cobwebs everywhere. I forgot to add an entrance but I did it now. Another thing that makes, makes your house abandoned is adding stairs to the walls. So I in integrated some spruce stairs to the walls. If you are building this house out of wood, then you can use stripped logs to make it look more worn down. But don't do too much of it or you won't even have a house. You'll just have a roof and some supports. If you skip the cobwebs and stairs, you will have a regular Minecraft house. But if you want to make it more Halloween-y, you can just put cobwebs in an invisible item frame to make them look smaller. The only thing is that they are 2D, but they still look good. There are many Halloween decorations that you can build. So let me know in the comment section if you want me to make a video on them. I put shutters for the window at the front of the house. And another thing is that if you break some of the windows, it looks more abandoned or like someone tried to escape from you. But same as the walls, don't do too much of it or creepers will start climbing in through the windows. The only time you can leave doors and windows open is if you play with the game rule, no mobs spawning on. Because with that game rule, no mobs spawn. So you won't have a random chicken or a zombie in your house. But if you play regular survival, then just break the top part of the window so nothing can come in your house. So that's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And let me know what you think of this house. But for now, goodbye.